Foam point has been updated. Please check it on the So map. in this video, I'm at a TA truck stop located at uh, Brunswick, Georgia. And so I'm kind of over in the, one of the corners of the uh, parking lot. And uh, the sun was still up. It wasn't, uh, wasn't quite down yet. And so it, at that point, it was relatively uh, windy. And so I uh, got it up fairly high. I never noticed how many feet up in the air I got it, but I was reluctant to really push it on up there, considering that uh, it was fairly windy. And the, the app itself was notifying me that, that it was windy and, you know, kind of fly with caution, the, the DJI 4 Go 4 app. So I uh, kind of spun the camera around and uh, played with the gimbal just a little bit. And now let's see. Yep, so you can see that I'm kind of fiddling with it. And I still have yet to adjust the uh, sensitivity of it. It, uh, you know, it's, it seems to be a little hard to get it to go slow. It wants to just go all at once for some reason. So I'm going to have to have to mess with it a little bit uh, but in any case uh, you can see the trucks parked there there's trucks and then there's a, a bunch of trees uh, back in behind that and back in behind the truck stop where the, the you know the clearing for the truck stop is so uh, and you can see that the it was late in the evening because of the long shadows cast by the uh, especially by the uh, shop building that's uh, there in the center of the frame right now and the truck stop building is uh, on past it it's right now it's up in the center top center of the frame so uh, now I think I end up pointing it down and you can see me I'm walking around a little bit the kind of the little yellow dot in the center, towards the center of the screen so I think at this point I uh, lower I begin to lower the drone down I think well let's see if here let's see if it, yep there it starts to lower and uh, as I say I was reluctant to kind of push it up any higher because of the winds uh, and it, it did a pretty good job even though it was a little windy uh, at that point it did a pretty good job of kind of uh, staying very steady so uh, at this point I kind of bring the drone down I didn't land it yet I, br I brought it down and then I uh, just be experimented a little bit with uh, kind of flying it in a circle so we'll we'll be kind of going in uh, sort of a uh, more or less a triangular uh, shape here in just a bit just kind of uh, play with it until the battery you know until I just before I got the uh, low battery warning and uh, you know just kind of flew it around which I, I need practice as far as just uh, it'd be nice to be in a large wide open area where I could really uh, practice with it but I have yet I guess I need to find some ball field or something somewhere where it's I've seen some of the people on YouTube uh, in very wide uh, areas where it's really grassy, where the, the grass has been mowed, and uh, they've got this big wide area to kind of fly in. And I I don't know of any places like that that I can think of off the top of my head. And of course, I don't usually have access to that right now. Obviously, I'm in a truck stop, so I'm kind of. Uh, limited as to uh, what I find and of course then you have businesses around there that uh, probably would not appreciate someone flying a drone because <laughs> you know the, the business there across the street they got a chain across the driveway and it says keep out and I think that one is a closed business uh, so you can see what I was doing right there I was just kind of uh, more or less sort of flying it in a circle and sort of experiencing what happens I found out that if you if you fly it forward and you kind of curve it at the same time 
it has a tendency to want to go down. It loses a little bit of altitude, so you got got to kind of pay attention to that. So I was kind of fiddling around right here a little bit, uh, you know, kind of playing with the gimbal again, and I was reluctant to fly it over those trees. Uh, you know, there's really nothing to be, gain to be gained right there, and so again, I'm gonna kind of uh, bring it back back to the the uh, grassy you know the mowed area and I think I fly it around a little bit more and then uh, as it, then I'll finally land it so there we go you I brought it down again the wind uh, it was it had picked up some oftentimes in a lot of areas the wind will kind of pick up right around uh, the time the sun is setting you'll get you'll get if sometimes you'll get wind in an area and since then the sun is uh, pretty much down at this point right now and the wind has died down quite a bit because so I, I actually got an anemometer I measured it and uh, a while ago and it was you know it was reading about four miles an hour at the max so it's it's calmed down considerably since uh, since I did the drone flight and I did not think to uh, actually measure it because I kind of forgot that I had the anemometer <laughs> so uh, let's see so we're gonna fly around a little bit uh, more here I think and uh, I have yet to run the thing in sport mode you know, I guess sport mode is really fast, although I'm finding that the, the non-sport mode with the controller is pretty quick, you know, and it's, so I'd, I'd rather be uh, much more uh, familiar with the uh, controls, controlling the drone uh, in the non-sport mode before I, e I would even attempt the sport mode, and I would want to be in a as I say, in a wide, flat, grassy area to really experiment with that. So here, once again, I'm kind of, uh, you know, kind of flying it back and forth. You know, and you can see, and that's not the sport mode. That's just the regular mode using the, uh, in conjunction with the, the controller, the actual controller. So even in the non-sport mode, the thing, that drone moves pretty quick. So you've really got to kind of pay attention to what you're doing, and I can only imagine what it would be, you know, in the sport mode, they're claiming that the thing will, you know, in the maximum speed, it'll jump to 37 miles an hour, which is actually pretty quick. You know, in, in the non-sport mode, I think it's maybe about six or seven miles an hour max. So I'm just kind of fiddling around here and, uh, flying it back and forth <laughs> boring 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 <laughs> but kind of finding out what it'll do and it's interesting because some of these stops uh, you know the drone stops it just stops and hovers if you uh, once you take the input away from the controls and it's you know and, and the drone uh, if it's moving pretty good the drone actually uh, you can see it kind of wobbling back and forth, but the gimbal does a really great job of uh, making the the video look perfectly steady. It's it's rather amazing how well that uh, gimbal uh, ends up working. So you can see I had to r I raised it up right there because of the uh, you know it. it seems to lose a little bit of altitude in some cases when it, and you probably wouldn't notice that unless you're relatively close to the ground you know because in other cases it'll it, maybe it gains a little bit of altitude and I suspect that has something to do with whether it's flying into or out of the wind or uh, maybe you know sideways with the wind and I, I'm not sure exactly how the flight, you know, the aerodynamics of that works. So we're about to land right here. This was just right after I landed it. I got the low battery warning. We're at the end of the video. Uh, join me in the next video.